if we're going to love our children the way that God desires for us to love them, then we need to be cultivating within our own hearts a love for God himself. Let's go, nonstop. Hey guys, what's going on? Steven here with Nonstop Families. Just taking a few moments today to be an encouragement to you as we as believers in Christ seek to disciple those in our homes. Before we get started today, do us a favor and simply like and share this video. Maybe even tag somebody that you know that needs encouragement today as they lead their families. I want to take a look really quick at the command that's given to the people of Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 and 5. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. The foundation for the discipleship of those in our homes does not rest in our love for them, but rather in our love for God. And we can't set an example for them by faking a love for God, by the way, because our children especially are going to see right through that. So let's ask ourselves a just a really tough question right now. What do the people in my house see in me? Do they see not just faith, but faith in God? Do they see a life that trusts in Him? Do they see not just love, but genuine, wholehearted love for God? See, the Hebrew understanding for the word heart in this passage was far more than just emotion. It was the center of the will. It was that thing that motivates your every move. So heart, in this sense, would also include thought. That's why when the passages in the Gospels quote this passage from Deuteronomy, they will include the word mind as well. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Go figure. To love God, according to these verses, is to devote oneself to Him entirely. And if we withhold our full devotion to God, then we really shouldn't be surprised when those in our household do the same. And I'm not talking about making God number one on your priority list here, all right? You know, God first, family second, job third. Hear me out on this. God shouldn't be number one on our priority lists. Huh? Seriously, because if he's number one, that means whatever number two is, is too close to him. Remember what Jesus said in Luke 14. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And if you can't be his disciple, that means you can't disciple anybody. And that verse also doesn't mean, by the way, that you should write your parents a letter and say, Mom and Dad always hated you. In fact, I found out it was biblical. No, Jesus is saying that our love for him, our love for God, should so surpass our love for anything else or anyone else that it almost looks like we hate them compared to our love for him. So yeah, God shouldn't be number one on our priority list. Instead, he should be the very reason we make that list in the first place. That means if my family is number one on my priority list, then I need to live with them, love them, lead them, care for them, protect them in such a way that shows them and the rest of the world how much I love God. Think about that. I need to love my family so that they can see my love for God. And that means if I want my family to love God and walk with him, then I need to make sure that my own love for God is continuing to grow. Guys, if this was helpful to you today, please let us know. Comment below or message us and let us know how we can be praying for you today. Also, be sure to follow Nonstop Families here on Facebook. In fact, if you would be so kind, we would love for you to head on over to the Nonstop Families Facebook page, find that community tab, and invite people to like our page as well. And if you do that, by the way, let us know that you did in the comment section below, and your name will be entered in to possibly receive a free copy of Donald Whitney's Family Worship. And of course, you can always check us out on our YouTube channel at Nonstop Families. So that's it, guys. Until next time, love God, be encouraged, and as it comes to discipling our kids, go nonstop.